Aloha. I wanted to make a real quick video in reference to the villain program. Just another <clears throat> expansion off of the idea. So I've mentioned it in some previous videos, but I just wanted to give my updated perspective of how it's looking today. It's obvious with the stuff like the presidential campaign where you're basically voting for the lesser of two evils like he's the bad guy no she's the bad guy so that mentality is not only existing in the idea of the presidential selection but it's really more it, it goes all the way up to the relationship that the human the human has with nature itself the desensitization program itself is based upon uh, you being the bad guy. So you as the populace are the reason why the system is the way it is. So the, why the prisons are so full right now is because black people and Mexicans are just horrible people and they just do the most fucked up things so they need to go to prison that's that's i mean donald trump is basically said that that's what his campaign was founded on in the beginning of his campaign and this is that mentality as a whole it's not a mistake this is on purpose this is how this system wants to be told the story wants to be told to you it's like you are the problem you are you are bad obviously like this is why the black guy gets killed first in all these movies this is why um, all of your superheroes are all uh, white people. This is why the system, and not to focus it on race right now, there are people like that, but I'm talking about this. The divide and conquer system is not just about race. The divide and conquer system goes all the way up to the divide and conquer between childhood, adulthood, and elderhood. That is a divide and conquer situation to. Um, divide the family, divide the culture, divide the community, divide the actual human relationship with nature itself, divide the spirit from the relationship to the materialistic realm, to the physical, uh, divide the, um, the lower bodies from the higher bodies. This, th it's not only about race, it's not only about the haves and the have-nots, it's all of the above and the system is very complex it's not and when people when people get angry about stuff or they have some kind of focus and they want to like vent on on my channel or anybody's channel it's mostly because they've had some kind of focus and the emotional the emotional strings have been played so much that the only way that they could release some of that pressure that's been built up from existing inside of that box is to vent on somebody else. So, like for example, me sharing this information on this channel with people is a way for me to not only understand the way this system works, but also to vent the pressure that has built up, that has been built up in my own experience from having had to go through uh, the shitty relationship to the community and the society and then being so far gone having gone into the military then going into uh, the Occupy protest stuff and that whole mentality having worked uh, uh, for like Home Depot and like corp big corporations that don't give a shit about you. I've been in the depths of that so I can see how these programs work. And all that stuff, the way a, a large part of how I understand my reality is by uh, seeing how it connects in every in, to every single thing and then sharing and being able to uh, put that to words and share it with people. So, in that creating of a voice or a, a style of expression to share with people, I'm also seeing how other styles of programming that work, excuse me, simultaneously 
against not only myself as a child into an adult and doing what I'm doing today, but how the entire system works um, against an individual and a collective and how other people like the Alex Joneses, like the Joe Rogans and the Russell Brands, how they are involved in the system and what it is that they're actually saying. Uh, because we all have a definite focus, a definite foundation that we uh, kind of funnel into a focus and share. So everybody does that. Everybody does that with their uh, their personality. It's like you're you're different with different people, and then over time you start to grow into that. Like the elders are once they're old school, like my grandpa. He was. He was just grandpa. He, he just becomes grandpa. That's the individual because that's the person that they have grown to be and they don't change with people here and there. They're the same individual. That's how we grow into who and what we are. So you either grow into somebody you think you are, the idea of yourself, which ultimately that's what it always is going to be when you're talking about the physical reality. But you, in reference to the illusion, the depths of the illusion, you can see how people get completely enveloped in the plastic version of reality as opposed to somebody else growing from a child to an adult to a senior growing into their soul essence and actually growing into wisdom and as opposed to growing into like a plastic wisdom like a uh, a synthetic um just the difference between being old and being an elder like having wisdom and just like not dying for a long time. There's a difference there. Um, yeah, and the way the system is designed, this child mind system, like all this PG-13, TV-14 information, it's not because they give a shit about your kids. And they are like, oh, the kids, if you have a 12-year-old kid, he shouldn't be watching this. It's just too dangerous for him. No, it's the other side. It's if you are a 30 something year old individual watching a 14 year old program, then you shouldn't really be watching that because you as a 30 or 40 year old are being programmed to a 14 or 13 year old mentality. That's the other storyline that they don't want to tell you is is enveloped in this system. That's the intent of this system. So it's not just only like the programming that goes through Democrats and Republicans that disempowers you and desensitizes you. It's the actual programming, how it fits together. And one of the main things that I wanted to focus on here in this idea of this villain, so, so you're the villain of the system that needs to be protected and uh, by the system, by the so-called powers that be itself. Uh, so in order for you to be that scared little child that can, that really needs the system to protect over you and keep putting those criminals in jail and doing all that other shit uh, they, they they have to not they have to take the focus off of themselves so the politicians are that's this is what the politicians are for to take the focus off of the system being the problem creator itself that's the biggest thing in this climate change, the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex, your presidential politician, your elections, your your uh, um, world superpowers. All of this stuff is to maintain this synthetic idea of uh, your well-being. It's all bullshit. So like in this... In this climate change video I just watched, um, this guy is talking about, are, are we going to change? Are we going to, our, our dependency on fossil fuels, if we don't change, if we don't do something, uh, uh, a stock of broccoli will be $20. Do you want to do that? No, we we should start this. This is all this we shit that keeps getting out there. These This word like we, if we don't change like uh, in this Before the Flood documentary with Leonardo DiCaprio. 
uh, going around the world talking to leaders, world leaders, which is really only to build himself up, to build his resume up in your head. So in the future, you actually listen to him uh, and believe him. But it's it's all about this we shit, this we. So when they speak on climate change, for example, in this documentary, that's another one of the things that gets presented out there when that's really missing the entire point of uh, the, the relationship that humanity has to nature and a manifestation of nature. It doesn't want to go that far in relation to the same way that the university system doesn't want to go into uh, the spirit. It has to be atheist in order to make itself out to be God. So you worship the so-called logic or the so-called intellectualism of the scientism community and you don't need God anymore. You don't need spirit. You don't need to recognize that you have a soul because you are the only part of your reality is the idea of the Big Bang, the elements that your physical body is made of. And that's it. That's the extent of your life is your lower bodies, your physical reality. Uh, reproducing, having a shitty uh, weekend at best version connection to nature, uh, a sexualized version of relationships and reproducing and relationship to that that uh, experience and having a, a synthetic version of your fire, your willpower, your solar plexus, your your stomach brain. It's all about the artificial ego and your what kind of car you have or what kind of house you have or the American dream. Everything synthetic you is everything about your natural program is being substituted by a synthetic normalization program version of reality and is sold to you by desensitizing you, taking you away from your sens sensory programming. So this is why Hollywood puts all these action movies in front of you. Not only to uh, make you worship these actors, but also to desensitize you from uh, the, the death and destruction that's inherent within the system itself, and also to program you into uh, whatever kind of fiat currency programming, like in this documentary. Um, it's all about like carbon tax, like that's the next big thing. They go through this whole hour and a half video in reference to uh, so-called climate change and the only hope that you have is carbon tax on these corporations so back to that we shit this we thing is not it's amplified to make villains so right now we are the ones contributing we are the ones as long as that story is existing the focus of the colonial program, the focus of the genocides and the massacres and the uh, the industrial prison industrial complex, the military industrial complex, the focus on the manifestation, the origins of those systems gets lost in your desensitized uh, existence. So you have no focus. You have no, your focus is taken away and uh, a, a, an illusion is, in, in is, is installed. And the remainder of your energy is based upon distraction. So you have this child mentality. So this is trending. This is trending on YouTube. And YouTube is basically the next, like it went from newspapers to radio to television to computers. Now, uh, the entertainment version of television now is YouTube, pretty much. So, uh, same with Netflix and Netflix and and um, Hulu and all that stuff. It's the same shit. Uh, it's a program. They tell you what to think and what, how to be. So as long as you're watching rated R 17 year old mentalities, PG 13 year old mentalities, TV 14 year old mentalities, you will maintain that relationship not only to um, the earth plane experience, 
but your family, your elders are now of a child mind. You have grown up children. The adults are, are have no, the only reason why they're adults largely is because of their synthetic versions of understanding or the relationship to the world. Uh, some, or what the television told them to be like or how to be. This is why you have like uh, people who take pride in in, poli in, in uh, politics so much is because that's understood as like a, a grown up thing. If you don't vote, if you don't engage in the, your civic duty, get the fuck out of here with all that shit. It's like this is this. That's the mentality of the system itself. It's like you're an adult if you vote. So you take pride in that. That's the same. That's what the adult's pride is involved in your civic duty. Just like the elders or so-called elders, there's the difference between just being old and being wise, having wisdom. There's a difference there. The old school, old cultures, just like the ancient civilizations who had a relationship to spirit and understanding of our reality beyond this synthetic version, this illusion, it's the same difference. So as long as we've been dumbed down, Synth turned into some kind of synthetic version of reality, desensitized, distracted, and uh, installed with fear and this false hope within the system, just like Obama and then Leonardo DiCaprio with this National Geographic um, documentary about so-called climate change. This is for the child mind in the illusory system. Divide and conquer. Divide you from children. Locking you into the public education system to install the lowest common denominator of education into your reality. So you have these broken kids with a broken society going to school every day for 13 years. And they're not learning from the teachers. They're learning from the students. They're learning from the, the, the most broken ass systems. This is why you have these bullies going, these bully kids. They're not bullies because they're just bullies. They're bullies because their fucking families are broken and they have to go release that pressure on other kids. And then those other kids have to adjust their reality to other broken systems. And then just like I mentioned that, you know, <laughs> broken adults go on comment sections of other people's videos and troll other people's videos because they don't have shit else to do or whatever it is it's about releasing this pressure and the system is it, in order for that pressure to build up it only builds up is because largely we don't have we're not in control or in at all a relationship with our senses we've been desensitized so when you have information being installed into your system that is energy being installed into your system and if you don't do something with that that energy it will it will um, manifest into your reality in the easiest way possible one of the main ways is through emotions so you, this is why you have these grown up children in these relationships who are, which are just fucking re, just ridiculous, arguing all the time, just not having any kind of depth of connection, just totally child, like a teenage version of reality. Uh, and then when it goes even further than that, then it, it can start to manifest into sickness and disease into your actual bodies. So an, an easy, easy pressure relief valve is the emotional body. And that's what happens uh, with children in school turning into bullies and then other kids having to deal with that shit. And then th when they get older, it just turns into the artificial ego. Then you become some kind of, now you have to become an actual adult. What does that mean? <laughs> like who... Who are you? Of course, it'll be based upon what you, what your surroundings are. So the movies, the cartoons, what you've learned, your parents, your your uncles and aunts, and all these people around you who are also a part of this broken society. If you break free from that so-called peer group, then um, then you'll be cast as an outsider or whatever it is. 
and largely people won't if you can't break free from the systems of control within your own family and your culture or your uh, broken culture broken society how the hell are you going to break free from the illusory system of collective control as a whole that's the intention of the divide and conquer program so when people get caught up in the idea of oh well you, you you're talking about racism and all that fuck that the, when you're talking about racism you're talking about power and you can't be ultimately racist unless you have a power to install that energy this is what goes into the idea race you're talking about an entire race of people it's not a little fucking thing. You can't just install that into one little thing. And that's just one version of the divide and conquer program. All these other versions are actually the more the bigger point. So when I address individuals like Joe Rogan and Russell Brand and Alex Jones in reference to how fucked up they are in the style of information that they are, they are not dummies. They are doing this on purpose. Like like I said, like the bully is subject to what his his parents have done to him. And then now or his the way he was raised. And then the, the same thing goes for the adults. Alex Jones is a bully. Joe Rogan is a bully. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a bully, but they aren't children anymore and they're not dumb either. So they know to the large extent what they're doing especially if these motherfuckers are getting paid for this shit especially if they got uh if they have referenced some of this information before like joe rogan and then took a step back so the people were saying no oh, ultimately you could argue the innocent perspective of where well, they're so innocent because they they really they they have no relationship with their spirit so they can't really uh, they're doing what they're supposed to be. Yeah, you could argue that to the umpteenth degree forever. But if you're going to argue that, you might as well just be a monk and go live in the, in the mountains forever. This is for the people who are engaging in their reality, who for the large, for, for large part are saying, okay, well, this is how the system is not only designed to control the individual, but the collective. You can engage in that reality in however, whatever kind of vibration you like. The way the divide and conquer program is designed to work against us as a collective and as individuals, you can see it. And when you can see it, you can narrow it down to how these systems and who are a part of these systems and who are and who is not willingly a part of these systems. When these people have been working in these systems of control, of power, of maintaining this system as a whole for so long, you cannot be so, like, so, you, can, you cannot think that they don't know if you as an individual with only the access to like YouTube and books and um, talking to friends here and there and whatever it is, you're on the outside of the system. These people are that's you know a lot of a large part of this system from being on the outside of the system and being an intellectual person. So no, being an intellectual person on the inside of the system, they're gonna be privy to a lot more information. Now, not saying everybody's gonna do that and understand that information. What I'm saying is that when you really narrow it down to these individuals who are out in your face with millions of followers, millions of people who are, and they're out there telling you like what to do, like David Icke being happy about Brexit when the Brexit shit went down, uh, Russell Brand telling you to look into Marxism, Alex Jones telling you to vote for Trump, TYT telling you to vote for Bernie, and then when he, he when Bernie takes a shit, now you got to vote for Hillary Clinton because you don't want Hil Donald Trump. Like this is fucked up. Like, it, it, of course, 
a large majority of the people who are caught up in those storylines, I'll give you that. A large majority of them are not going to know how deep this system goes. But there are those few people in there. I would argue in a heartbeat, Alex Jones knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. Russell Brand knows exactly what he is doing. This system is not a simple system. It's very complex. Like TYT, I would argue that the majority of the people in there don't know that they are actually working to protect the the system itself. Like they're working to keep the enslavement program going because they can't talk about colonization. They can't talk about all that stuff because that'll just that'll be a revolution that's too far out of their their reach. They they'll start to destroy their own foundation, and the young people in that in that uh, field of thought are not largely not really privy to that information or willing to go that far um, like with Leonardo DiCaprio I, I don't know that dude personally um, so I can't say that he's willingly out there knowingly defending this system by what he's doing uh, but if I were to guess that dude is not dumb. He knows about the genocides and the massacres and the colonial program and the supremacy program. He knows about the prison industrial complex and the military industrial complex. He knows what this so-called United States of America is built on. He knows that the, the climate change and all these other superpowers and the fiat currency system and the maritime admiralty system admiralty system he knows that that stuff exists he knows about the federal reserve if you know about all that shit and you can piece together and you're not a fucking complete dumbass then you can come you can piece all that shit together he knows about chemtrails if you can pe piece all that shit together then i'm I, shit i'll go out on a limb and say you damn right he's he knows about this shit in some kind of way but there's always that chance. Like these people are so caught up in the world thinking that they're doing a great job. He could be just like one of those guys who goes to the United Nations, does that speech and then goes home, makes a fucking sandwich and then just checks his email and then that's it. You never know with these people. But there are people out there who definitely know about everything that I just mentioned and are actively involved in keeping the mass population from going into the depths of those storylines by getting them caught up within the box itself. You cannot be so fucking ignorant to think that there are those people out there who do that and who are being paid to do that. So if you got 10 celebrities out there one, two, or three of those motherfuckers know exact trying to sell the same shit as Leonardo DiCaprio. Three of those motherfuckers at least know to some extent about how deep this program goes. And either they are willingly a part of it or hopeless, however they fit. They don't know what to do. They're just being a part of it. Or they're actively engaged in the world of not giving a fuck. And only wanting to take care of themselves. Only wanting to provide for themselves. This is... that That's the energy that my... that that That's what I'm focusing on when I share this information. Is because that is the superpower itself. The so-called powers that be. That is uh, the villain program that's being created by those individuals even more so. Because they are very smart. The destructive intelligence program in a dance with the creative intelligence within this duality system that we exist in taking the destructive intelligence magic to the extremes of enslaving sovereign entities is my focus when I'm speaking in reference to how this system enslaves 
not only the individual but the collective because the people who are just not in just unaware of the 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 larger storylines i'm they're gonna get there on their own like this is why i don't really give a shit too much about the new agers and all that stuff because they're they're gonna hold on to it for so long until it'll just dry up the system itself is going to just it's con- going to continue to implode and then people will need to look somewhere else and and find out they'll go back to nature eventually i understand that my focus is on helping people to see how deep this story goes so we don't fall subject to as individuals and as a collective to these artificial progressive movements like this climate change program and largely it'll be it's being sold by the niceties by the sweet the emotional grid like <laughs> like fear used to install the old systems. Now they're going to try to sell this shit, like I said in previous videos, with love. In order to protect themselves and the system itself. To protect the money. To protect the haves and the have-nots. It's going to be more complex. It's going to be harder to see in that program. Because the tides have shifted within the box. But that has nothing to do with the relationship that the human has with reality or the, the soul essence outside of the box. That's what I'm referencing right now. And in every other video is to reconnect with nature, reconnect with your understanding of the spirit outside of the illusion and not be subject to the the programs that are largely just a sheep or a, a, a wolf dressed in sheep's clothing. And what makes stuff like this climate change storyline, like the before the flood and 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 all these people on like TYT talking about climate change talking about, we need to change and we need to do something how the fuck are you going to talk about climate change and not mention chemtrails how are you going to talk about climate change and not mention harp how are you and weather modification how are you going to talk about climate change in reference to fossil fuels and not talk about the foundation of the industrial age, the corporations, the fiat currency system itself? No, you want to talk about carbon taxes that is after the fiat currency system because you want to protect the fiat currency system and the colonial enslavement program as a whole. That's why the fuck it's not mentioned. So when you understand that these systems exist to protect itself under the guise of forward progress, then you can see the individuals who are involved in selling you that story, selling you those limitations. And you can only buy those limitations because you've been desensitized, because you've been completely enveloped in the story as a whole that shit that's just it that is this story that's that's what's gonna happen you can believe that way you can feel that way all you want but not everybody feels like that just like people think that some people really believe that the new world order and the new age and all that stuff and the new age the, a, a global government and a global um currency system they think that's the that's the that's the savior for everything just like uh like the, not not even not even realizing that presidents like uh senior bush and all these other presidents who have mentioned a new world order and all these other agendas that are uh, tied into the the alien agenda all this stuff that's tied into these 
these systems and it's just that's the way it is people really believe that that's gonna be that's it that's 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 the that's the world that we are gonna be and um my sister told me the other day she was talking to a co-worker or not a co-worker just somebody she knows and um that individual was telling her how wonderful gentrification is <laughs> like yeah oh yeah it's so wonderful how you know things are changing i love gentrification like this is this that's the that's how far this program goes that's how far um this system is gone in in individuals realities it's like the so far separate separated so desensitized from the system that it's a uh, jeez so far from the system it's just you can't see it so yeah like the idea of uh <laughs> like great britain like great to what to who it's like great bob like did you know, what's your name oh oh great bob great bob the fuck who uh i just gave myself that name great bob okay cool that's cool. Well, Bob ain't connected to a, a colonial enslavement program. <laughs> Great Britain is the extension of Rome. It's like the same thing like America, United States, number one America. It's like Budweiser, the king of beers, the worst fucking beer out there. The king of beers. The only king of beers because they needed to say that to sell more fucking shitty beer. I think I pretty much mentioned everything I wanted to mention with this video. Uh, one thing I did forget is uh, how these how these storylines are connected at the end of the Before the Flood documentary. Uh, of course, they have the up next, the sneak peek into the Mars TV show, National Geographic. They have that in the in the bottom right hand corner these are how these stories are are um connected just like cern is connected to nasa just like nasa is connected to the university system and the university system is connected to the politics and the politics is directly connected to the mainstream media the mainstream media is directly connected to the prison industrial complex and the mil military industrial complex and the fiat currency system itself and Hollywood and all these celebrities and all these actors that are telling you to vote. It's all one big ass story. And if you just think the story is just as simple as, oh, well, you know, people are just doing what they do. OK, great. You can think that way. But. There's some complexities in there that you can understand to expand the storyline and your understanding, overstanding, and understanding of the entire story that could help you. And with helping you, it'll help other people see this system. Just like that individual who likes, who's, who's okay with gentrification. Another person will be okay with um, I don't know, being told to drink some. People are okay with uh, sticking 30 vaccines into shooting, shooting uh, 30 vaccines into a baby before 
they're even two years old. It's probably even more than that. All those chemicals, all that shit. That's that's like the perfect that's like the commercial for the synthetic reality. And the only way you can believe that exists or that's cool is because you inherently are of a child mind. So this is why the social media exists the way it is, the trending, like this is the new television, how to be. This is why all these sports games, the Super Bowl, the World Series, such a big idea, these child mind and acting talk show hosts um, getting you riled up about these perspectives and they're adults and they're on television you got the meat eating industry you got that whole mentality walking dead zombies just it's it's only uh, welcomed into the reality because it's the only thing available and if you only have available in your world a TV 14 storyline then you will produce TV 14 grown-ups and TV 14 senior citizens like uh, this unbox therapy it's just all about it's just it's just fucking child mind like when you listen like like when you listen to how uh commercials have to sell you something come on down with this da, 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 da. like nobody fucking talks like that like in movie theaters welcome to to the movie theater and come on down oh you're in uh, you're in theater number two enjoy your rig like this whole fucking thing that's that's for the like, kids it's, that person is not really like that. That's not you. you have to, you're forced into something. Uh, there's no. It, it's more. The, the synthetic version of reality has overtaken the actual human connection. And then people say, oh, well, it's just a. It's just a thing. No, it's not just a, a part of whatever. It's a fuck. There, it's deeper than that. There's an intention there. And if we don't see what that intention is, you're going to walk off a fucking cliff. Like, oh, well, I just thought it was... Hey, you can do that. You'll be innocent for the rest of your life. That's cool. But you'll just keep re recycling in this synthetic system. Every day, you have the, po the potential to shift out of that reality... Uh, through learning more about your relationship to nature, to spirit, to your soul essence, to this entire experience as a whole. But if we keep choosing to be a part of the synthetic version of reality and only within the box programs, then <laughs> I mean, that's that's an actual world. With a god and everything, the scientism community and your demigods, the professors, those are actual energies that create the, the, the vibration of a god. They've even told you, like, your beginnings of your reality. If you pass on from that perspective and you get sold, resold that perspective, then you can potentially be turned back into a synthetic version of reality because that's your god. Don't you want to go and be involved in do you want to have this fancy car and this fancy family and this fancy this it's toys all this is Christmas Christmas Thanksgiving Halloween toys candy and toys that's what this whole reality is based upon like the unbox therapy guy he's just a big ass fucking kid open up opening up toys and then you live vicariously through him opening oh look at this oh it flies oh, oh get the fucking ridiculous all these television shows these fake ass people Bruno Mars Saturday Night Live programming with politics and these fake ass celebrities Can a pumpkin protect an iPhone 7 from a 100-foot drop test? Stay tuned. Ten-year-old kid in a 40-year-old body. 
this is all this is the distraction program because uh, being in having a, a depth of an understanding of our surroundings and the way the system is uh, will inherently it's too much for some people we're already bombarded by work school family whatever it is we need an escape just what the system is we need a pressure release valve or something to look the other way this is what the internet is this is what this uh, trending trending um, program is about TV it's all based upon that it's obvious sports these uh, like Bill Maher he's talking to his 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 audience like the way he speaks to his audience is his relationship to his show where he gives that shitty fucking look to the audience if he if if people don't agree with something he says he just strong arms them and then the next show he'll bring some more evidence to prove he's right in some kind of way or whatever it is it's that old mentality this is how the the storyline gets sold as a whole to all of us through the ego the artificial ego of these suit and ties with slick slick hair and fake ass personalities And then you go to work talking to other people about, you know, oh, this is what I believe in. This is what it's all about. Grown ass kids watching MMA fights and all this other stuff. Worship of the physical reality. Child, fun science, dark matter, and dark energy. You watch these videos, it's like, even look at that, the font. It has to be childlike because it's largely made up. It's for kids. They just make this shit up. It's not really believable for <laughs> like adults who, uh, for anybody really. This is why this science, these science, this science stuff has to be sold to you from like a childlike perspective. Or and. Uh, made to be out of your understanding the billions of light years away It's ridiculous They got to make light of it. This is what these TV shows are getting presidential candidates and the president and politicians on these late-night talk shows and then Saturday Night Live making jokes of it Distracted by Lady Gaga and a new computer from Microsoft and a new iPhone 7 and a new movie and Ellen DeGeneres with Snoop Dogg and Anna Kendrick and Martha Stewart. Distractions. Samantha B talking about if you don't vote for Hillary Clinton and something's wrong with you, you're... Yeah, it's ridiculous. They just force you into these mentalities and then sell you a child reality. Uh, adolescent, adolescent reality. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. If you want to see how this program is, you know, what I was talking about mostly in reference to how they build up this this victim or the the victim and the the villain and the villain the the way this design is built up you can see the villain inside the 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 before the flood the climate change is is the problem and the villain making the problem is the people like this video this guy we need to change something we need to do something but the villain is mentioned very quickly in so many ways um, inside the documentary about 
the corporations and the bankers and all this other stuff. It was amplified by the Bernie campaign and all that stuff. Uh, but when Bernie gets beat up by Hillary in your face, then you're like, oh, well, they, they got control of everything. You can't do anything about it. And then when a whole documentary gets made about the system itself and doesn't mention anything about HARP, nothing about chemtrails, nothing about the the industrial age system itself being built on the backs of the natural design with an intent to separate people from that design and install the normalization desensitization program and their only thing to that you have hope for in the future is is a carbon tax is some solar panels is just another extension of the program. Elon Musk in there talking about building a a super energy plant. It's ridiculous. These stories just feed off of themselves and they present the villains and the superheroes to you. And it plays out. So without you being engaged, thinking you're engaged, just like politics and voting. You're not electing your president, you're, it's a selection program, and you're a little fucking kid that believes in, in Christmas. <laughs> they are in, uh, believes in uh, the Easter Bunny and Mother Goose and Santa Claus. And if you vote for Hillary Clinton, she's going to leave you some Christmas presents under the tree in the morning when you wake up after Election Day. But it'll be empty. It's just bullshit. And these people know about this stuff. They know. A good portion of people don't know how far this, this, uh, the program goes. But once you get up there... Once you get into those those uh, single digit percentages of information sharing, or um, that not many people are up there uh, in the haves community, then you know some shit. You have some information that in the have nots community they don't they don't know about. And in order for you to keep that have, to be in that have top percent, then you better keep playing the game. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, from all our relations, peace, love, and harmony.